Hey everybody, Scrap and Salvage here. Was on my way home from the post office, saw a dumpster, dove in. I think I might have found some salvage jeans. Let's show you what we found. Yeah, I wasn't even dressed right for this. My slippers, my house slippers dove into this dumpster. Got a bunch of oil and grease all over my room to pair of these military pants. But that's the kind of risk you take when finding cool old junk in dumpsters. I'm gonna pull the jeans out first because this is the exciting stuff. Um, Let's see if it's the big E. Definitely big E on the Levi's, which predates 1971, which is great. Uh, I'm not sure, I don't remember what the offset loop does that does not have it, but, um, or the center loop. They've got this little V right here that also dates, has a specific year to it. Selvage is the most important, but seeing the big E predates 71, so these are definitely Selvage jeans. But uh, just to, yep, so just to, to show you out there, but man, this is exciting to jump in a dumpster and find uh, Selvedge jeans is awesome and uh, it's definitely gonna bring some little bit of money right there. Uh, some fabric remnants, so like regular sleeping pants. Some of this was uh, a bag of remnants, I just grabbed it because uh, I needed the bag and there was a couple garments of clothes in there. Ladies dress, looks like 70s, 60s, 70s with a bunch of dust on it. Oh, this thing is dirty, but kind of cool, needs a wash. That's the thing, you just, Jumping in dumpsters, you never know what you're gonna find. Uh, this cool uh, orange zip-up sweater. Oh, there's no tag, but it's a BW zipper, if that means anything to somebody. Little shirt by Lady Norris, 14, kind of fun, probably 60s. Random white shirt. Ooh, lingerie, looks like a lady's slip. Nothing too exciting. Silk hanky. What do we got here? Blank white t-shirt by Hanes XL. That's kind of nice. That's a real vintage one. Put that over there. Oh, oh. Another pair of Levi's. These are small E's though, unfortunately, but still 501s XX. XX uh, with the uh, button flies. Pretty good condition. Let's look if there's a cell bedge on them. Again, a selvage. So selvage dates up until about uh, mid 80s, 85, I want to say. So it's definitely a, that era, uh, which is still great. So um, yeah, probably like mid 80s for these pants. Big size, 40. Awesome, awesome. And this looks like a some kind of sun kind of moo dress. Stain issues, but kind of a cool pattern. <clears throat> Another pair of jeans. Let's see what we have here. No tab, no label on the back. Button fly, Do I have any hidden rivets? Not feeling any. Let's see if it's selvage. Selvage, so then again, earlier than 85 probably. Um, these are probably like the others though. And uh, let's see, back loop is centered. No, it does not have the V here, so. That'll tell us kind of when I do a little more research on the actual era, but man, that's so awesome to find this many jeans in the dumpster. People don't know, you know, they just will throw stuff away and, uh, you know, you're sitting on money right there, especially with old denim. It's like little kids, doll dress, dress. Uh, old prairie looking hat, kind of cool. Poly pants, kind of gross. Ooh, this is nice. Look at that. Ah, oh, sweet, little short sleeve sweatshirt. That's pretty cool. Really good condition, love that. Mixture of junk. And curtains. A vintage sweater. Minklum. Is it mink? Eh, has some condition issues, but still kind of cool. Got some fuzzies. And these. A little nighty slip sheets another little slip yeah the rest of it doesn't look too exciting more like remnants and ladies lingerie some doilies <laughs> let's move on to the next here this is such a fun dig just to go digging in a dumpster i i love it i get excited for it uh, like a polyester top a sweatshirt of sorts Green sweatshirt, we got a label? Nope. It's funny that these sweatshirts don't have labels. I don't know, but pretty nice vintage. Here we go. 
Another pair of jeans. Levi's. Nope, it's a little, probably a little newer. Ah, they do have the Big E though, so that's good. So it's pre-71. Huh. If if it's also only one-sided, the label facing out one-sided Big E, that's like nineteen pre-1955, but this is obviously has it on the backside too, which you're looking at some some big money if you find it that way. But um, hey, I'll just, I'll take, oh, look at that. Someone did a little uh, of their own little stitching. Got the selvedge in there. So, you know, rough shape, but still there's a market for these kind of things. People still wear them and uh, in this shape. So, good find. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Another pair. These don't look as old. Yeah, small E on that. But, uh, uh, butt in front. And let's see if there's a selvedge. And again, a selvedge. So you're looking at uh, mid 80s and lower and earlier, I should say. These are nice. These are really clean. Definitely bring some money there. So let's just keep going, folks. Look at this. Another pair. These look a little older, if you ask me by the look. But I'm no expert. Yeah, but still, it's got the flat stitch right there. Um, back loop. Nah, it's missing the tag. Damn it. This guy wore wore his jeans out so but still great look to him a couple condition issues with some holes in the knees you look for the selvedge which i'm pretty sure there are but yep got the selvedge again so that is awesome 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 got some uh plaid 60s kind of woolish kind of pants kind of fun look at this pendleton i bet yep Oh, and a large too, my size. Great colors. Look at that. Found the Pendleton too. All this stuff was for free, so and you can find it in the dumpster. Eh, it has a couple condition issues, but a couple moth holes won't hurt you. Ah, there we go. That sucks. Well, that's how it goes. These little ladies' stretch pants, pink dress of sorts. to the jeans here another pair of jeans dang man this is so awesome um pretty rough but it's got that little v so these are definitely earlier um let's check for the back see the big e yep big e right there look at that hell yeah hidden rivets i don't know oh yeah hidden rivets so these are the earliest pair we have which is an awesome fine offset back loop Fortunately, this has got some condition problems, but I know I don't even need to look for the selvedge. It's already there, but we're going to do it anyway. So there we go. So these are pretty rough, but uh, nonetheless, worthy of saving for sure. It's definitely some money right there. Another sweatshirt, another zip up. This is cool. Got a label. Nothing. BW zipper. But still, that's what I love zip ups. Wearing myself, great. The military shirt, let's see here. Kind of rough. A lot of people just use these for their like painting projects and back in the day. So I usually find them with paint splotches and whatnot. US Army. I'm not sure about that patch, but it's pretty cool. Definitely a market for that as well. Probably Vietnam era. Ladies polyester jacket nothing special there oh i'm seeing more jeans what do we have here oh got a uh orange tab so like 70s yeah still there's still a market for that front zip look at those those are crusty though but bell bottoms look at those definitely will sell even in that condition oh look at that that's crusty but still an old pair no tab Sure, these are sell. Yep, these are selvedge. So that's good. So these look definitely earlier than '85. Yeah, I don't know how much a market is for shorts, but hopefully I'll make some money off that. It's like a lady's skirt. Yeah, kind of cool. Another white plain shirt. Another crusty T-shirt. Doesn't feel cotton. It feels like a blend, but who makes it? Ah, oh, 74% cotton. Looks like Hanes. Sorry, I can't get the label out here. Yep, Hanes. 
It's like a 60s shirt, polo I should say, by Colfax. Full fashion, Benlon XL. Kind of nice. And a couple more white shirts. This is uh, looks like Hanes as well. Yep, XL, nice. Cotton tee, that's real soft. Might have to keep that one. I was looking for t-shirts. That's pretty much it for that bag. Let's see if we can get another pair of jeans. I already see one already. Found this crusty hat, but I had to save it, so I threw it in the pile. A couple old hangers with advertising. I always like the advertising ones. I use them at the swap meets and always picking them up because I'm always looking for hangers. Whoa, look at this. This little Halloween, felt Halloween hat. <laughs> it's like hair. It's kind of an older one. That's pretty sweet. Handmade kind of thing. Yeah, this was like sweatshirts and jeans day, that's for sure. Look at this cool mustard short sleeve sweatshirt. Love that. Ah, like a Heather Ideal zipper, vintage. Super nice, dude. Love it, love it. What is this, the tie-dye tee? Ogden? I don't know, kind of a tropical Hawaiian kind of uh, vibe here. Looks like someone did a homemade... Uh, uh, tie-dye, but it's kind of cool. Ah, another pair of shorts. Got the big E, so that's a good sign. Pretty rough, but uh, the offset loop, so I think these are earlier. Got another full, a regular full-size pair of that. Hidden rivets, that dates it again. And I already know that it's selvage, so we're good on this. This is nice, dude. Another pair of shorts. Hope this will bring us some dough. What a find, man. What a find out of the dumpster. It's green, lime green, poly top. This kind of looks like hospital pants. It's cool. Oh, some OPs. Those are sweet. Look at those. Look at that old label. Very cool. That's a bitchin' find. And it's got some stain issues, but hopefully they'll come out. That's a bitchin' find. Very cool. Love those. These look cozy, too. Another polyester, too. This polyester uh, dress, kind of sweet. Got another t shirt here. Go climb a rock. I kind of I remember these shirts from Yosemite, Yosemite Mountaineering School. Yeah, I used to have one like this. That's pretty cool. Uh, looks like another kind of a sun style dress. It almost looks like a bandana fabric. That's kind of cool. Worn down a little bit, but I'm sure that someone will buy that. Ooh. Yeah, looks like a, something disintegrated on this thing, but some kind of jersey. Oh, Occidental. Huh, that's a local uh, college to us, but this is pretty old. Probably from the 50s. Southern. Yeah, Occidental jersey. Very cool. A little bathing suit with some more of that funk on it. Polyester got here. Got a lady's little cardigan sweater. Love the buttons. Those are cool, like pearl or abalone style button on that. Not the best condition, but still cool. Another polyester dress. I'm seeing another pair of Levi's or jeans. Polyester shorts. What's written on here? Michael. <laughs> What's Oh, here we go, here we go. Offset loop in the back. It's got some condition issues, so these gotta be big E's. Got the V here, so these are definitely selvedge. Yep, so another good, cool pair of jeans. Some condition issues, but um, still a market for that. Let's just keep on going. These are definitely newer uh, with the, the small E. Um, and zip front, probably more from the 80s, 90s. Has some condition going on here, but let's look for the cell edge if it is. So it's got this, this other stitching. It's not like single or stitching. So probably from late 80s, 90s, I would say. But still a good a good pair of jeans. Oh, I thought these were going to be like a pant. Uh, it's a um, railroad hat. Kind of fun. It's pretty cool. Another polyester, Ooh, that thing's ugly, dress, little apron, this is kind of cool, I like the pattern there, yeah, it's 
a cool little pocket front dress. Very cool. So if I, oh well, I can't read it, but another sweatshirt pullover. This is like polyester sweatshirts and selvedge jeans, and I'm seeing another pair. Ooh, okay, another not as early small E. I like the button fly front, so it's probably the same as the last one. Still, oh, these are selvedge, so these are 85 and you know, below. So that's good, very good condition right there. That's gonna bring some money. Hell yeah, good finds, man, amazing. Ooh, this is kind of like someone's moo moo I'll slip. I see women wearing those at the swap meet, just a slip. Uh, it's pretty interesting, so maybe there's uh, some value in that for me. Looks like a big white skirt. Wow, okay. Another kind of almost like a cowboy esque kind of short sleeve. Some stains. Ooh. Another one of these shirts that needs some work by Spargin, Spargian, Pasadena. Wow, that's cool. T, I'm not sure what that T stands for, but another uh, like basketball shirt. Townscraft, like a sweatshirt, turtleneck kind of thing. Another polyester dress. Looks like the jacket that goes to that. That's what it is. And got a pair of, looks like Dickies almost, a military chino kind of style pant. Yep. Trousers, men's cotton, UT khaki. These sell. I've sold a couple of these at the swap the other day. And they did their own little custom job to the pant cuffs. Another sweatshirt. Looks like, oh, this is like um, lined. Very cool. A little crusty, but I have to wash that up, see if that can come out. A little V-neck top by Wrangler. That's interesting. Interesting color for Wrangler. <laughs> Probably from the 80s, 70s. Made in USA. Oh, another one. Look at that, great color. Nice old kind of faded zip front. B and W zipper. Man, I'm loving all these sweatshirts, dude. Really good score. Polyester ladies' pants. It's like a top that went with it. Another little slip. A couple slips, I should say. So eh, little sashes, pillowcase. So that's it. What a haul that is to come across that many pairs of vintage Levi uh, 501s. And uh, man, it's a great day to, to, to find stuff in the dumpster. This was the haul today, a dumpster dive for denim. Thanks for watching, check us out next time. Yeah.